And welcome to a Monday edition of Monday Morning Quarterback. I am your host, S. Soden. This is the Monday Morning Quarterback. Soden Bowl, season number 96, Madden 20. Uh, We are in the in-game 2020 season right now, about midway through the season. We have had a little bit of shakeup here. Uh, I'd like to take a minute and welcome a couple new owners. Uh, We have uh, with... The Denver, I'm sorry, yeah, with the Denver Broncos, we'll go ahead and start there. Uh, with Denver, we have uh, Dereal32117. He takes over the Denver Broncos, who are in pretty good shape. Uh, and then with the Arizona Cardinals, we have Ace Golden42. Uh, he takes over for the Arizona Cardinals team that is struggling. Uh, and then the New York Giants, we have Reese Screwed, who takes over a decent Giants team. He's doing pretty good, although uh, Barkley was injured for about three or four weeks. So we'll see if he can overcome that injury. So welcome those new owners to the league. And with that said, we are going to go ahead and move into our uh, our Monday morning quarterback uh, broadcast. And again, this is sponsored by Best Buy and Allied Plumbing and Heat, a name you can trust. Thank you guys for what you do for us. It allows us to put out products for the community, for our community. Uh, but Monday morning quarterback, we're going to get to the grassroots of what this show is about, and that is the quarterback position. Uh, so we are in week eight right now. And looking at week number eight, we're going to start with touchdown passes since this is really uh, kind of the heart and soul of that quarterback position. Uh, Baker Mayfield leading the league with the undefeated Cleveland Browns, 8-0. and Mayfield with 19 touchdown passes off to an excellent career-type season for Baker. Now, he is a superstar X Factor this year for Coach the Alpha Heels 7, and he is getting it done, and that's a big reason why the Cleveland Browns are 8-0 and in first place in their division. And then 18 touchdown passes. Uh, 18 touchdown passes for Sam Darnold, who is a New Orleans Saint. Crowd pleaser 90. He is in second place in touchdowns with 18 touchdowns. And then Jared Goff, the Los Angeles Rams, having another good season this year. Uh, they are 6-1 and one right now, and he has 16 touchdown passes. Uh, and then Jackson with the Baltimore Ravens, a newer owner, Jiggy J-Rod, takes over a pretty good uh, Baltimore Ravens team. And Jackson's getting it done for those Ravens with 15 touchdown passes. And then Andrew Luck, Big Mike's quarterback out of Indianapolis, having a good season too with 14 touchdown passes for him. Uh, Moving into our next category here, uh, we have completion percentage. This is a big one for me. We have... Uh, we have Philip Rivers, 75.1% of his passes. Lamar Jackson with 72.4. Baker Mayfield completing 70.9% of his passes. And then Jared Goff getting it done with 70% uh, com- completion percentage for him. Now, uh, looking at the yardage leaders. Now, yardage to me is good. Uh, you're moving the football, but I think that can be a little mis- miscued here. So looking at our yardage leaders, number one, we have Mitch Trubitsky with A. Soden's Chicago Bears. He has 2,057 yards passing. Then we have Patrick Mahomes in the Kansas City Chiefs. Now we had the pleasure of broadcasting his game, his upset victory in Los Angeles as he took down the Chargers and got himself back into the divisional race in that AFC West Patrick Mahomes with 2,002 yards passing. Uh, then with we mentioned Andrew Luck before. Andrew Luck ranks third with 1,922 yards passing. And then Sam Darnold in the New Orleans Saints with 1,901 yards passing. And then to round out our top five, Deshaun Watson, uh, the Houston Texans with 1,800 
and 74 yards passing. Now, uh, to, to go with this quarterback position here, uh, the one thing that is striking to me is interceptions. Now, these next five quarterbacks here, uh, you guys are on the tail end here. We have Russell Wilson with the Seattle Seahawks. Only five touchdowns to 26 interceptions. That is a 46.7 rating, ladies and gentlemen. So Russell needs to pick it up in Seattle. Now, Mitchell Trubisky, he was off to a fantastic start this season. Uh, he's playing okay football. He does have over 2,000 yards passing, uh, but he only has nine touchdown passes to 23 interceptions. You got to do a better job in Chicago, Mitch. Uh, that will not get you to the playoffs. That is a quarterback rating of 61.7. Then Derek Carr in the Oakland Raiders. Now, this team did go through a head coach crisis in Oakland. Derek Carr has 1,587 yards passing. Not too bad. He's averaging 8.9 yards per pass. However, nine touchdowns to 21 interceptions. That is a 67.4 rating. So that needs to improve if the Oakland Raiders are going to improve. Now, the next one is a bit surprising to me. Uh, this owner is 6-2. Jimmy Garoppolo in the San Francisco 49ers coach swing on these. He is only completing 56% of his passes, which isn't too bad. Only 1,149 yards passing. They do run the ball a lot in San Francisco. However, he only has nine touchdown passes to 18 interceptions. That is a 76.3 quarterback rating. Uh, if you are playing the San Francisco 49ers, I would try to force them to throw the football as Mr. Garoppolo is throwing twice as many interceptions as he is touchdown passes. So try to try to get that team into a passing situation. Now, that defense is very good in San Francisco, so that's probably a big reason why they're running the ball so well. Then to round out our worst five quarterbacks, we have the Miami Dolphins and Dak Prescott, his first year in Miami here. Uh, doesn't look like to be a very good season. He has 1,694 yards passing. He is completing over 60% of his passes. Uh, however, he only has 13 touchdowns and 17 interceptions, a 77.3 rating. So not getting it done in Miami. Now we're going to do the flip side here. We're going to take a look at our highest rated quarterbacks. Number one, Jiggy J-Rod and Lamar Jackson out of Baltimore. 72.4% uh, passing, 1,487 passing yards. And uh, looking at the touchdown to interception ratio, he has thrown 13 touchdowns to just seven interceptions. That is a 119.2 rating. And that is our highest rated quarterback with at least 100 passing attempts. Next on the list from the Los Angeles Rams, we have Jared Goff. Goff is completing an even 70% of his passes for 18-18 through the air. That is 12.1 yards per attempt. Uh, he has a 98-yard touchdown pass on his record this season so far, and he has 16 touchdowns to 10 interceptions. That is a 118.7 quarterback rating. Next on the list, number four, we have Phillip Rivers. Now, Rivers was undefeated in interceptions uh, going into his game in Kansas City, and Rivers is 75.1% completion percentage for 1,529 yards, uh, just 8.3 yards per attempt. But he does have uh, 19 touchdowns, I'm sorry, 12 touchdowns and three interceptions. Those three interceptions coming in the last two weeks, that is a quarterback rating of 114. And last but not least, we have the superstar X-Factor, Baker Mayfield and his undefeated Cleveland Browns. Uh, the Alpha Heel 7 is completing 70.9% of his passes for 1,753 yards. That's 11.1 .1 yards per pass, 19 touchdowns to 13 interceptions. That is a 112.7 quarterback rating. Uh, good job for Baker Mayfield and the Cleveland Browns. Now, uh, those of you new owners listening, turnovers, 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 words of advice. 
Uh, somebody that I've had the pl- uh, privilege of watching a lot of would be A. Soden and the Chicago Bears. Now, a lot of good user skills from Mr. Soden. However, he is making some bad reads throwing the football in turnovers are costing him a lot of big games. He's throwing too many interceptions. That's a good defense in Chicago. And they have Todd Gurley at running back. They need to do a better job of feeding Gurley the football and taking the pressure off of Mitch Trubitsky. Trubitsky leads the league in passing yardage, uh, but he is second in the league with the most interceptions thrown. So that needs to change if the Chicago Bears want to move on and possibly make the playoffs this year or next year. Uh, With that being said, I'm going to move into my top 10. Uh, This top 10 is courtesy of Wildebeest 2010 and his uh, fantastic images here for this production. Uh, Great job and a shout out to the Wildebeest 2010. Uh, Let's move into my number 10 through 6. I have at number 10 DJ Mixers New England Patriots they are 5 and 2 and in first place in the AFC East uh, then we have JMO's JMO 30 31's Green Bay Packers they are also 5 and 2 uh, and in first place in the NFC North a tough division up there in the north then we have the reigning NFC Conference champions at number eight, Eat More Chickens, Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Another good season. He is at five and two. Uh, then we have at number seven, Jiggy J Rod's Baltimore Ravens. Uh, he's come into the league red hot. He is at five and two and playing very, very good football. So at number seven, Jiggy J Rod's Baltimore Ravens. Then number six, one of the best defenses that I've seen playing so far this year. The San Francisco 49ers and Coach Swing on these uh, sitting at six and two here. He could be he could be seven and one right now. He did lose a, a, a game there, a heartbreaking loss. Uh, so San Francisco sitting at six and two. We're gonna move through my we're gonna move to my number one through five here. And we have at number five, crowd pleaser ninety. The New Orleans Saints, Coach Crowdpleaser getting back on top of things. Uh, Last season, he had a bit of an off year. This season, he's coming right back. Sam Darnold at quarterback. The New Orleans Saints at 6-2 in good control of that NFC South. Now, he does have the reigning NFC champ on his heels in Tampa, but he's getting the job done in New Orleans. Number four, uh, Coach, Mr. Witness has lost Angeles Chargers, also sitting at 6-2 and two, uh, and in first place of that AFC West. Now, they are coming off of a loss on prime time in our game of the week versus the Hall of Fame head coach, You're Blessed, and his Kansas City Chiefs. Now, Phillip Rivers turned the ball over uh, a couple times there and won on a potentially game-tying or winning drive, throws the interception, So we'll have to see how Mr. Rivers uh, bounces back. Then at number three, uh, number three, we have my Los Angeles Rams, uh, S. Soden's Los Angeles Rams sitting at six and one uh, in first place in that NFC West. A nice division battle going on with the San Francisco 49ers. Uh, Currently, the Niners hold the uh, head-to-head matchup as they took out the Rams in overtime uh, earlier in the season. These two teams match up again in two weeks, so we'll have to see how that plays out. Uh, Then at number two, number two, the reigning Super Bowl 95 champion, Kylo Ren's Jacksonville Jaguars sitting at 7-1. Another good season coming out of Jacksonville. Good offense, good defense. One of the league's top rushing attacks, uh, a 2,000-yard running back last season. And then number one, we have the perfect undefeated 8-0 Cleveland Browns coached by the Alpha Heel 7. Now, the Alpha Heel 7 and Coach Kylo played each other just a few weeks ago, and that is actually Kylo's only loss of the season. Uh, So just a shout-out to a Cleveland Browns team that has been heavily Heavily tested so far this year. One of the toughest schedules as far as head-to-head matchups go. 
And the Alpha Heel 7 has remained perfect. Now, he's had some close games. Uh, but again, whether you win by 50 or you win by one, it doesn't matter. It's a it's a win on the standings, and those Cleveland Browns are undefeated. So uh, my top 10 goes Cleveland, uh, Jacksonville, L.A., the Los Angeles Chargers, the New Orleans Saints, and then let me go ahead and flip this graphic back here for you so you can see the other ones. Number six, swing on these. Number seven, the Jiggy J-Rod. Number eight, eat more chicken. Number nine, JMO31. And rounding out the top ten, DJ Mixer and his New England Patriots. Uh, that team is sitting at five and two. The Jets right on their heels. So that should be a very, very good divisional matchup. Uh, I am S. Soden. That is all I have for you guys for today. So Monday morning quarterback sponsored by Allied Plumbing and Heat, a name you can trust. If you are in the Colorado Springs area, uh, make sure you give those guys a shout out. Uh, they do a fantastic job with HVAC, plumbing, whatever you need. They'll get it done. And then Best Buy, coming soon to our website, SodenBowl.com. We will have a page dedicated to our friends at Best Buy. Uh, if you are looking for the very best uh, in online electronics, uh, mics, computers, games, TVs, whatever it may be, go to BestBuy.com, check them out. Uh, again, the very best, uh, the very best in quality. We love what Best Buy has to offer. So thank you and a shout out to Best Buy. Go to bestbuy.com. Uh, I am S. Soden. This is the Monday Morning Quarterback, week number eight, season number 96, Soden Bowl, in game season 2020. I'm out of here. Later, guys. <laughs>